Hi, this is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, here to talk to you today about dropping back into a full wheel, Urva Dhanurasana, and also about getting back up. For today, you're going to need a wall. So if you live in the middle of the wilderness, you're out of luck, unless, of course, you live in the middle of the wilderness and there's a big tree. You could use the tree instead of a wall. Um, but walls are good. So I'm going to show you um, how to learn how to drop back on the wall so that we can learn how to drop back off the wall, likewise how to um, stand back up. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you need, wall. There's two rules to this game. First rule is um, two hands need to touch the wall and come off the wall at the same time. Second rule is you can't move your feet once your hands hit the wall. We're going to be working a little bit with fear today. Ooh, fear. Okay, so much of yoga is about getting over your fears. So get over them. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to stand and you can go as close to the wall as possible for this first one. Um, let's start here. Like, let's say I'm like really scared. I'm a, I'm a foot away from the wall. I take my arms up by my ears. And you want to make sure they're right by your ears so that when you drop back, it's your hands that hit the wall and not your head. So you're just going to take your hands and you're going to drop back just to get a feel for this. And you're going to touch the wall. That was so easy. It's right there when I pop back up. Now remember, the rule is two hands touch at the same time. Two hands come off at the same time. So don't do this. Because you're going to pull your back, okay? We don't want injuries, right? So you've got to be really, really mindful of this. And worst comes to worst, invite a friend to help you. And they can just sort of pull you back up if you get stuck. Um, anyway, that was really easy for me. So I'm going to step forward a little bit. A little step forward is going to make a big difference. I take my arms by my ears, and I start to lean back. There's the wall. I pop back up. There's no way I'm getting to the floor from that high, right? I can't, like, I don't have a back that is this big. And if you do, it's likely you don't have to be watching this video. So I'm going to step forward a little more. Remember that little steps forward make a huge difference. So here I go. Now when I step forward, I'm going to try to drop back, not from my lumbar spine, which is to say straight back which is what most people do, which is completely freaky because quite honestly, if the wall weren't there, I would have fallen right on my head. But instead, you want to think about always going up and over. Think about an Olympic high jumper, how he jumps up and throws himself over. So I call this my Superman chest, where I broaden across the chest. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I've got my Superman chest. It's like I'm going to lift my ribs right off of my tail. So think about lifting up, up, up. Before you even drop back, can you get the top of your chest to face the sky? Okay, that action is the back bend in the thoracic spine. This is the tightest part of your spine, right? It's the spinal vertebrae that are connected to your ribs. They have the least amount of mobility. So we're going to move from there. So I lift up like Farmer John suspenders, da 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 da, Superman. Take my arms by my ears. I'm going to Flex my palms so that they hit the wall. So I look up, 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 and back. I drop back. I find the wall. Now, I'm coming back up because it's a little easier to talk from up. Okay, so I hit the wall. I was about a third of the way down. So I know that I could probably make it to the floor from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk slowly down the wall. Remember in yoga, we're never like rushing. This isn't like a marathon. We're going to go nice and slowly down the wall. All the while, I'm going to be lifting my chest. Maintain that Superman chest at all times. Okay, this is going to be what keeps your back safe and what stops you eventually from stops landing on your head. Okay. I lift my chest, arms by my ears, palms flex. I begin to drop back. But remember, I'm not just dropping back. I'm lifting up and over. Here's my high bar. There's the wall. I'm going to walk down slowly. Okay, now I happen to be able to hit the floor. Don't worry if you can't hit the floor. You can stop at any point. When you get to the wall, start thinking about moving your chest in a little bit. At this point, you can even move your feet a little bit. Try to keep them more or less parallel. Now to come back up, I'm going to try not to scramble up. Hello. But rather than walk up nice and 
nice and slowly. So I'm going to take one hand, two hands, and push. Look at that back bend. One hand, two hands, and two hands lift at the same time. Okay, pop quiz. When I'm coming from that last one, I've got two hands on the wall and I'm coming up to standing, what muscles are engaging to take me up? Got it? Here's a, here's a um, hint. Every single time I ask a question, the answer is always going to be core. So just say core and you'll be right. It's core. Because think about it. I'm in a back bend. If I just pull these two items together, my rib cage and my pelvis, if you watched my Secret to All of Yoga video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch it now, it's important. When I pull my ribcage and my pelvis together, it engages my core, and it brings me back up to standing. Now I'm going to show you, assume you can't go all the way down. That's fine if you get the same work. I take my feet, Superman chest, arms by ears, lift. Let's say I'm stuck. Pull it in, ribs in. And up. Okay, so both of those actions combined together are going to allow me to drop all the way back onto the floor and drop all the way up. Dropping back is scary, right? This is a major fear factor. So in order to do this without falling, make sure your arms stay by your ears and you're moving in an arc. If you imagine the shape of an arc, there's no way for your head to hit the floor if your arms are in place waiting for you. Okay, it's only people who move like just in like a back, straight back that they poop and fall down to the floor. So just keep your arms by your ears. Think about that up and over action. So without the wall, I started my feet about hips distance. If you go wider, it will be easier. I like to start with my hands on my tush for a little bit of support. Because also it helps me to lengthen my spine. So I pull my tempo down. Here's my Superman chest. Da, 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 da. Chest lifts. Arms are by my ears, right? This is very important. As I'm going back, you're going to see me pause. I'm going to forward just a little bit. You're going to see me pause because I'm going to try to find that edge. I flex and I begin to drop. Okay? To come back up. It sure helps to have a little bit of momentum. So you walk your feet in. It's like a little spring. The tighter you are, the easier it's going to be to get up. And I like to rock. One, two, three, and up. Okay. Do I think that, like, from watching this video, once you're going to be rocking back and forth and coming up to standing? No. However, if you do practice conscientiously dropping back at the wall and walking up slowly, remember slow is key. One hand, two hands, pause. One hand, two hands, pause. Ribs pull in to pull you up. Eventually that's going to become so easy, um, especially if you tighten the stance a little bit. So walk the feet in when you're at the wall. It will really, really help you to learn how to stand and drop. In the beginning, of course, it always helps to have um, a spotter to help you out. Um, but if you don't have one, just stay with the wall until you're so, 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 so comfortable. Main thing, just make sure you don't land on your head. Landing on your head sucks. Keep your arms by your ears, big arch, Superman chest, and have fun with it. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, and I'll see you again soon.